Moving on, Libya's UN-backed government of national accord has called for a ceasefire and political dialogue with Eastern Libyan commander Khalifa Haftar. In a news conference in Tripoli, Interior Minister Fatih Bashaga heavily condemned the bombing of civilian areas, including schools and the latest demolition of a book storage unit carrying books for the upcoming academic year. With fighting between the two sides entering its second week, Minister of Foreign Affairs Mohamed Sihala added that the LNA troops must depart the capital in order to make way for a political resolution and ceasefire. The World Health Organization says at least 174 people have been killed and 758 others wounded in the battle for control of the Libyan capital, Tripoli. White House advisor and U.S. President Donald Trump's eldest daughter, Ivanka Trump, has met representatives of African women and the Ethiopian president in Addis Ababa. She's on a four-day tour of Africa to promote a 50 million U.S. dollars initiative aimed at encouraging women's employment in developing countries. The Women's Global Development and Prosperity Initiative aims to financially empower 50 million women by 2025, with President Donald Trump directing U.S. aid to allocate an initial $50 million to the fund. Ivanka Trump is due to take part in a World Bank Policy Summit and then visit Cote d'Ivoire to promote female entrepreneurs in the country's cocoa industry. Our goal is to reach 50 million women in developing countries by 2025. WGDP coordinates the efforts across federal government and works with other nations, institutions, and the private sector to empower women to fully and freely participate in their local economies. The President has and will continue to prioritize this in current and future budgets. Women represent just 15 percent of landowners on the African continent and under many legal and customary practices are restricted from inheriting land. Eighteen countries in the world still have laws that allow husbands to legally prevent their wives from working. Half of these countries are in Africa. We can and we must address these barriers to women's equality and countries' prosperity.